Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. So happy to have you here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Hope you saw yesterday's video. We did some hunting. We did see a little bit of the anniversary set, the new one. Dude, it is sick. Very excited to see the new anniversary set in full, which of course will happen just a matter of time. We're checking to Tarjay now. We're back on the hunt, guys. Uh, we do have a very special Whatnot collectible show tomorrow, uh, which is Thursday at noon, because we're celebrating Whatnot collectibles beyond the con event. So we will be live at noon. They have, uh, I guess, a booth set up uh, at, a, at a convention, and they want people to go live. They invited me to be part of that online event and i am happy to do it for them so it'll be really cool so we'll go live at noon est here's a free 15 dollars right here as long as your profile is within 30 days old or 30 days new however you want to put it uh, you can use this qr code to get a free $15 to use on any live show or marketplace item on whatnot. All right, back on the hunt, guys. This is a Tarjay that had a million premiums, bro. We counted them. It was like 70-something premiums. Ninja Turtles van still here. Beatles, like, these will be at the TJ Maxx in no time. In fact, we've already seen them there. Not much on the haulers, unfortunately. And same for the two-packs. Same ones we've been seeing. The Ford... Cars. You see some RC cars, which these things are awesome, bro. They they can totally free roam. They do steer, uh, as you can see, left and right. There's like a boost button usually. Yeah, up in the top corner is a boost button. Uh, they can go on the tracks as well. They will work on the tracks, but they do also free roam. Don't forget that they will be on sale. Five dollars off that price in, in a matter of time. They usually stack them up and then. Uh, do the sale price. It's happened every single time with every single car. Hmm, I don't think we checked the matchboxes in a while. Opal Cadet. Push and puller. Oh, gosh. Can't believe that thing is still here. Um, what's that? Ford Custom 300. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of the same stuff we've been seeing. The M2s are getting low. Low, 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 low. Yeah, there's the Volkswagen. That would be the chase. It's probably not. It is not. Oh, a good... Oh, we got to check a Hobby Lobby, bro. We have not been to a Hobby Lobby in quite some time. Uh, I can't believe we found that rod just sitting there, dude. That thing must have been sitting there for, for days. Days and nobody knew but the Florida man. Just kidding. I had to look it up. Cartooned. Very cool. Ooh, the Bel Air. That would have been awesome if it was red, but it's going to be hard to find, I think, at this point. Uh, there's supposed to be, like, some different series. I think people are saying in the comments that the Wallfire is going to have their own series of the cartooned cars. I guess it's a different mix. I don't know if it's GM related. I, I kind of hope not. I hope they can get another license. Love to see some imports from them. That would be really, really cool. Always have loved this uh, 124 R34. Looks cool. Uh, we do have the Hello Kitty one somewhere. I wish I knew where, but I don't know. But I think I have some in a box still, like both versions. I don't know. Somebody bought the loose one. It actually went to a military base, so shout out to you, sir. Wow, this is cool. The Deadpool taco truck with an opening window. That's so awesome, but like, wh when was that in a movie? Can someone tell me? Because I, I don't remember seeing him selling tacos. Really cool Mercury here. Check this out. Wednesday Adams in her own little Volkswagen Beetle. She's a wonderful actress, very fun to watch. She is the main character outside of Beetlejuice in the new Beetlejuice movie, so I'm excited excited to see that too. Oh, look at these little mini monster jams. Thor, Captain America, War Machine. That's crazy. There must be an age limit. Not for children under three years. Yeah, yeah, that looks dangerous, bro. If you have kids, you know. So when we were at the Diecast Collectibles show recently, we talked to somebody about some Pokemon cards and I just saw some pretty cool Pokemon stuff here at the Target. I'm gonna show you, in case you're a Pokemon collector, what you could be getting at a Target. And then we're gonna head out, we'll check a grocery store, we'll check a Walmart, we'll check a Dollar Tree Plus. So new ETB, uh, Shrouded Fable, whatever that is, but this is cool. Charizard EX Super Premium Collection, promo cards, display figure, boosters. So you get that card, there's a bunch of other packs on both sides 
of this thing with a Charmander. Uh, I think it's 80 bucks. I mean, it is in front of the $80 price tag, as you can see, but it's pretty cool. I love the little uh, fire action they have going on there. That's pretty neat if you're a Pokemon collector. $39.99 for this Charizard EX Premium Collection. This thing is heavy. Dude, there is some cards in here. The Charmander, Charmeleon, the Charizard EX is right in the front. And I'm guessing that's a holographic, right? Uh, I don't know what the other card packs are, but look at this whole display of Charizard EX Premium Collections. 40 bones, dude, that's cool. I just got some very good news. A dollar and a quarter G plus is expecting a Christmas display of Hot Wheels. Unfortunately, this store, dude, they got sold out. I mean, there's just tons of peg holes showing and we're looking at L case, ouch. Ouch, L, a little bit of G left. But yeah, they are expecting a Christmas display. That's what I'm told. So everybody, keep your eyeballs. Everyone keep your eye on the prize, cause Supposed to be some kind of Christmas display. I mean, it's it's almost the end of October. Dude, there is some lizard that keeps running in front of one of my cameras at the at the diecast compound, and it's triggering the motion notification like every hour. Well, like five times an hour is what I should say. Hey, right, next up is the wall far dude, and I am seeing a crazy M2 machines hauler, and I am so tempted to buy it. It's not a chase, but Holy cow, look at this beautiful black box. It goes big with spectacular new shape. <laughs> okay, another ditty joke. So the Chevrolet Impala Lowrider limousine with the flames matching gold truck dude this is awesome so 24 release car number nine number nine excuse me dude how incredible is that lowrider for an impala there is a couple of them here Dude, super tempted. Super, super tempted. All right, same mix of premiums that we did see at the Tarjay. Still on the pegs, bro. So many, so many cars, including this Fiat Boulevard. Nobody wants the Fiat, dude. That is crazy. I'm looking at at least 20. All right, I was checking out the mainline Hot Wheels, but it jumps from M case to B case to another M case. So I know they dropped an M case here recently. Yeah, there's another B case car. So I know they did have an M case, at least one. Uh, but again, because of the storm, they're not getting a huge resupply in toys. Uh, I was just speaking to a worker and he said straight up, he's like, sorry, man, things that are coming in are supplies to help people to get resupplied. Uh, from the storm, so all good. I still want to check a grocery store. Neon speeders are still here. Uh, I guess the Ford GT looks nice. I'd love to see that thing under a black light. If you remember, we did that with a blue light with the S2K, and that bad boy glows, dude. It glows. But I think the pink Porsche is the favorite from this wave, in my opinion. That Impala looks so cool, man. That's one of the coolest M2 haulers I've seen outside of like the Nissan Skyline and the Coke Datsun uh, little three car set. That was cool. I'll leave it for now. There's four of them there. We'll think about it. If we see them again, we'll make a decision. Holy cow. Dude, a 98 inch. What? Dude, there is a 98 inch TV. 4K. It's their Walmart brand. $1,500, dude. Wow, two year limited warranty, bro, 98 inches. Could you imagine watching TV on this thing? Dude, it's huge, it's huge. Look, like, the, I, I guess, I guess there's really no way to compare it. I mean, like no, you know, on camera to make like a size comparison. Bro, that thing is huge. 98 inches. Could you imagine watching my YouTube videos on a 98 inch TV, bro? Wow, so I guess it's one of their Black Friday deals. A worker just walked by and saw me drooling over that bad boy Oof. dude i'm 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 considering it all right guys one last stop for this video and then we'll talk a little bit more about the live whatnot show tomorrow for whatnot con i think it was the name right so anyway i saw your comments and yes there was some impala that was backwards in the card but it's okay guys really like leave that kind of thing for somebody who's into it it's not really an error 
Like if those wheels were different, that's an error. If that was missing, that's an error. If that was missing, that's an error. But the car being flipped around in the, in the, in the blister, like that doesn't do anything for me. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I've always loved the Halloween sets. I've collected them in the past, but it's just way too many fantasies. Uh, I do love the sugar skulls on the wheels, of course. Just like the Impala that we, the other Impala, the 59, right? This is 64, there was a 59 or 58 Impala, the treasure hunt version with the skulls. So, you know, that was cool. It's a, it's a treasure hunt, awesome. But the Halloween Impala just being like the wrong way in the card, dude, it's all good, it's all good. I'm happy to leave it for someone else, but thank you for pointing it out. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, as stated in the beginning of the video, we will be live on Whatnot tomorrow, Thursday at noon EST, 9 PST. And they have given the Florida man a couple extra bucks to do a cool giveaway. So I will have a buyer's appreciation giveaway, probably a premium chase, I'm guessing. I think I'd like to do a premium chase. Maybe I can find a matching mainline to go with it. So come on guys, Whatnot Con is going on right now. They're up at the New York Comic Con event. They definitely have a booth set up at the New York Comic Con and they will be featuring some of the live shows uh, at the booth. Let's hope we can be a part of that. We will definitely be part of the event, Whatnot Con, tomorrow noon. EST here with a Florida man at the diecast compound dude. I can't wait. I'm gonna pull uh, I'm gonna do some different stuff this time I'm gonna look through the boxes look for some reds look for some Zamix. I'm gonna do some cool cars that you can Purchase for free using this QR code If you make your account today or of course if your account is within 30 days old So we'll be here live at the compound. I will have an awesome buyers appreciation giveaway and I'm very excited to do the show and be part of this event. Thank you, Whatnot. They have been very good to the Florida Man. We are on our second contract, even though we were basically contracted prior to when they actually started contracts, but they're becoming a real business, which is amazing. It's an awesome platform. There's buyer protection, seller protection. You could become a seller even using this same QR code. You could sign up as a seller using that QR code. They will accept you. So if you have extra stuff laying around in your collection that you'd like to purge to make room for new stuff like the Florida man does all the time, come on, what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for watching today's video, everyone. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, I don't know if we'll have a video for tomorrow. Maybe we'll go live during our Whatnot Con show. That might be an option for the Florida man. So uh, again, I really appreciate all of you for watching today's video and all the videos, being part of the Florida man community. Let's keep it moving. Pavement to the feet. Can't wait to see you in the next one.